In this video we're going to look at making a cue sheet using Pro Tools and Agent Orange. I've started with a Pro Tools session with a video clip and I'm making dummy regions uh, for my cues. Your project will probably have real regions. Here I'm making a region in the Foley track and this region will be a cue which contains Foley for uh, the sound of the paperclip in the lock. Now I'm going to consolidate this region, edit, consolidate, to make a region. I'm going to name it by clicking in the region and typing uh, clip in lock 2. It's the second uh, clip of this type. And I'll just uh, I'll put it in the second Foley track so that it's uh, beside its partner. Okay, now my region has a number of uh, cues in it, dialogue, effects, and Foley cues. And I'm going to go to the File menu and export Session Info as text. This is a feature that comes with DV Toolkit, an extension for DigiDesign Pro Tools. Make sure I have the Text Edit Text option. Uh, make sure I have Include Track EDLs. And if you've got crossfades, you probably don't want those to appear in your uh, cue sheet. Click OK. I'll save it on the desktop and I'll call it T2 Cues. How's that? Click on Save and it ex exports the cue sheet, the cue list, as a text file. Now I'm going to start uh, Agent Orange, a uh, program used for creating. Q sheets. I click on select and I'll go and find my uh, Q sheet text file. There it is, T2 Qs. Click on open and it's found the tracks. I want to include all of those tracks. Uh, unfortunately, we're stuck with letter size and uh, shade regions, print frames, Q sheet title. Oh, I see the um, name of the project is DV Test. Let's just change that to T2 Qs. Uh, first channel is channel number one and we're ready to go. We'll make, a cre we'll make a PDF. Click on Create PDF, T2 Qs on the desktop. Click Save and it generates them for us. And there's our cue sheet. Project title, track titles, time codes, everything we want. Job done.